Okay, doctor. So your doubt is about rubber band extraction. So it is basically an extraction method uh, for especially for the patients where there is risk of bleeding. For example, hemophiliac patient in whom you cannot directly go for surgical or non-surgical any kind of extractions. So in them, what we can do is we can put a rubber band on the tooth in the cervical region, as you can see here. When the of course when the tooth is within the patient's mouth. So what will happen let's say this is the tooth on which we have placed this rubber band now as you know because this is conical in shape the tooth is conical in shape when you put the rubber band of course because the rubber band is elastic it will have tendency to go downwards because because of the pressure if this is the surface on which you place the rubber band tightly at uh, after some time there are chances that this will keep on going downwards towards the slope where there is lesser resistance to the elastic. Now what will happen when this elastic is going down it will cut down this PDL which is attached or which is attaching the tooth to the alveolar bone and as it is cutting down this PDL or as the textbook says it will lead to ischemic necrosis of this PDL. So basically this PDL will get cut down and this tooth will be will remain within the socket as you can say. The tooth will remain within the socket without PDL. So now this tooth will become loose and because this rubber band is going down continuously it will come out also. It will be kind of exfoliation which will take place. One more thing that uh, you need to know is there is uh, it is not necessary that just by placing this rubber band once after one week the tooth will exfoliate itself sometimes if the pressure or the elastic pressure is reduced in that case what you need to do is you need to replace the rubber band so let's say at some point of time once this rubber band has gone down it will it has become loose so then you have to tighten it again or you have to replace it again with another rubber band which will continue this downward journey and it will keep on cutting these rubber bands leading to exfoliation of this tooth. This is what we call as rubber band extraction.